Well, first of all, could you please introduce yourself to the Serbian public? Oh, absolutely. My name is Brian O'Shea. I'm the CEO of Stryker Pierce Investigations and also the CEO of Dane Andrus Group. One does all manner of investigations and the other one does mainly counter corporate espionage investigations. If I'm not mistaken, you've said in your speech that $1.1 trillion are invested in private espionage companies. So can you tell us something about the threats of private espionage? Absolutely. And that was actually a quote from an investigative reporter um, that the cost of damage to worldwide businesses from traditional industrial espionage, meaning people on the ground recruiting spies, getting information, is over $1 trillion, which dwarfs even the cyber damage. Um, and the second question was the threat. The threat is out there for many, many reasons. Companies are getting bigger. The competitive space is getting more crowded worldwide. And there's a lot of people with these skill sets um, who need jobs. And they may have been former government. They may have been former quasi-government. but. They are getting jobs doing what they know how to do. It doesn't make them bad people or good people. That is their skill set. Um, so if a hospital shuts down, the doctors are going to go be doctors. It's just as if a, an operation shuts down, people who do the intelligence work will need to have an income. And it creates a, a labor economy of spies. Well, in Serbia, due to authoritarian practices and the experience from the past, mostly the 90s, people feel fear when they think about the governmental practices and espionage. So can you tell us something about the threats of governmental espionage? Well, that's going to be different for every country. Um, the threats of government espionage. Well, let me back up. Espionage is a skill and a tool. And just like a gun or a car, it depends who's behind it. Um, it can be used for good, it can be used for very nefarious purposes. So to answer your question, the threat of government espionage is directly related to the type of government performing it. If it's a good government, um, you might be okay, you still need to keep an eye on them. If it's a very uh, authoritative or uh, you know, very dark or nefarious government with not a lot of uh, you know, rule of law, then, of course, like anything, like the weapons, like the army, intelligence may be abused. And what can libertarians or everyday people do to protect themselves? Well, there's a lot of methods um, on how to protect yourself. So if you're worried about people using your social media to find out as much as they can about you, I am of the school of thought that you should put as much out there as you're comfortable putting. Because remember that, especially government intelligence, they have budgets, they have to, the person collecting on you, they have to report to their boss and show them that this was a good return on investment. This had intelligence value. So if you are just filling up the waves with the fact that you bought a new car and you bought a new puppy and you got a new job, someone has to go through all of that intelligence. If you try to not put anything out there and they find one thing on the internet, well, then they know they have something good, and they're going to drill deeper. And what would be your forecast on the future of liberty? My forecast on the future of liberty? Well, that is a gigantic question. I'll do my best. Um, I believe the forecast on the future of liberty is an optimistic one, because now people, through technology, but also through you know, a lot of promises being made and not kept by various leaders, People are waking up, and they're, they're really looking at what their governments are doing. And you know their, their hearts are getting broken when something's promised and something is not delivered. And someone's a good speaker, and they're the leader of a country, yet they don't do any of their promises. So as people are becoming more empowered through technology, through awareness, that's what you need for liberty, is making the effort to know. And like I said earlier, turning the light on, those things you're scared of knowing, okay, and learning as much as you can. But liberty will only be as good as people's efforts to keep it good. Lastly, what would be your thoughts on Belgrade? My thoughts on Belgrade, I love the city. I've been here, it's my fifth time. Um, I always go to Manufactura, that is my favorite restaurant. Um, people are friendly, people are wonderful. 
Um, I've just had a wonderful time. It's a beautiful, gorgeous city. Honestly, I've got to find a way to invest in tourism here because I think this is the next Paris. Mr. O'Shea, thank you very much. Thank you very much.